Since, ayan. Since peg ko kasi si Solen, so, na, alam mo yon yung naka, naka-not yung tinatali-tali, binobohol-bohol yung shirt para maging shorter, and then siyempre medyo high-waisted kasi andyan pa yung holiday fat, so you have to cover that up para hindi ma-turn off yung mga viewers. And then, um, what else? Yan, find your angle, find your sexy. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Okay, enough with the selfie because we're in the gym and the objective here is to work out and hindi magpa selfie and hindi magpa cute. Anyway, okay. The main point is, nag pig out ba kayo no holidays? Of course, who wouldn't, right? Me also. And I have a question. I have a very important question. After pigging out, how did you burn your calories? Sige nga, give, comment it down below. How did you burn your calories, guys? Hey, Coach Chap. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing well, actually. Guys, this is Coach Chap, and he will give you a run through about the basics of ultimate training. Yeah, daily ultimate training. So basically, this is a patented workout circuit training session that we have here in UFC Gym Philippines. So, Coach Gio here has prepared your workout for today. Hey, Coach Gio. <laughs> So essentially, daily ultimate training focuses and targets different muscle areas and regions, being a circuit training workout. Now you have six different stations. For the workout itself, it's just a very general and overall body um, workout. So we're not really focusing on anything specific. We just want an overall fitness. So all of this, especially the workouts, address a lot of muscles that we use every day. Fun time. Good job. All right. Down, head up, straight. Perfect. So that's the whole goal of DUD is that we want to make it, you know, better for like the daily activities. Good, good. Medyo hiningal ako after. I guess nag-run out ako ng air. And anyway, you guys, UFC gym is... They're, are you open daily? Yeah, we're open daily. We're open daily, but Mondays are usually their busiest day. Yeah, it's a common practice in the fitness industry that Mondays are the busiest day for gyms. But we're more than welcome to accepting people any day of the week. Well, I was finishing the stations. I was thinking about food. Yes, finally I'm off to fancy! I'm going to the gym and I am so drained. I am so hungry. It's pa naman to yung energy, ko, guys. So I am going to Fat Seed Cafe and Rosary. Yay! This is the salted egg chicken skin, and you can get this for 235 pesos. This is the buttermilk dried chicken with ube waffle in salted egg sauce. And this is their bacon infused maple syrup. You can get this for 325 pesos. And this is their uh, fat seed signature pork chop. Hello! Hi! Sir Brian. I am with Sir Brian and he is the owner of the Fats. Alright, so lastly here I have your... Uh, oh, this is another dish. This is our Wagyu Pares. Just the soup This is down. our beef soup. Comes in the Filipino style Wagyu Pares. We use Saikoro Wagyu, so similar to what you find in Japanese restaurants when you have it in the yakitori. I like the lunchbox, but they call the lunchbox again. My Old family school. calls it Timbrera. Timbrera. But uh, I think there was... Uh, someone from India who said that you call it tip. Anyway, True. Sir Brian, how long has this been established? So we opened um, February 13th. Last year now. Just last year. Almost a year. Is it originally like a cafe? Originally, primary were supposed to be a cafe, but understanding the Philippines, everyone likes to eat. So we went into a lot of food. Now we've come up with all these wonderful dishes. Thank you, Sir Brian. Thank you also for the food. My pleasure. Enjoy your food. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I guess I'll start with the salted egg chicken skin. It smells like cheese. Is this lathered in cheese? No, it's a no? butter. It has a little bit of feeling labuyo. Ah, okay. It smells like cheese. Then you dip it to dip it in the soup. Ah. I'm not 
Like We're gonna move on to the Wagyu Paris. This is so old school. I remember when I was in grade school, yung naka, di ko alam yung baon ko, so nakaganyan pa siya. So pag bubuksan mo, you'd be surprised. Oh, yun yung nalagay ni mommy sa baon na Even the rice is rich because of all the ingredients mixed to it. It's so good. Like the, the saltiness is just enough for my liking. Oh wait, I forgot to use the chili. Oh my god. That is an extra oomph when you add chili. Now we try the fat seed signature pork chop. I know I have tried this before, but I don't remember what it is. Sorry, what's this? It's a beef root hummus. And, and that one is a little bit chimichurri. of pesto. Ah, okay. Kale pesto. I like it when the food looks colorful. It's more appetizing. I think it looks more interesting and I get so excited. The pork chop is tender. I like the combination of the beetroot and the sweet kamot there. It's so good. I like how, it, how they combined it. The texture is so interesting. They're so healthy. Ito naman, this is their all-day breakfast buttermilk chicken with ube waffle and salted egg sauce with their bacon-infused maple syrup. Pero parang feel ko in the mood ako to listen to a song. Papakinig ko sa inyo yung song ng mga co-stars ko, bagong song nila to. By Rita and Ken, by Aubrey and Boya. Pagkagising sa umaga, ako'y naghahanda. May ngiti sa puso'y may tuwa. Ang sarap gumising at The sauce is panalo. Panalo talaga yung sauce. Hindi ko talaga gets paano siya naging salt and egg because it's sweet and there's really something in the sauce. Like it's, it, I don't know, it parties in my mouth. It's so good. Like I can even dip the wagyu here in the pork chop. Like I can use this with whatsoever. my food I shall go back to enjoying my food so I'll see you guys soon like share taste Manila also you can ask me anything just don't forget to use the hashtag ask Ara anything and I will answer all your questions <laughs> 